Hello everyone and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel without using click funnels. All right, so let me show you the final products that we'll be working on. So this is the main page. So this is the landing page, okay? So all these things are highly customizable. In fact, I've actually gone in and changed these images. So we can go in, you know, these FAQs, we can go in, change the colors, we can do all of that. But the most important thing here is to show you the flow. I mean, how things are flowing on this sales funnel. Okay, so the, uh, the visitor comes on this page. Uh, this is the product we are selling, it's the whey protein. So if I click here on buy now, this will automatically take us to the checkout page. Now on this checkout page, again, I've added the uh, the product. The background image is, um, is also added. Now over here, now this is the most important part. So we can actually customize these fields, remove the ones that we don't need, leave the ones that we need, uh, and I'll also show you how to do that. So once the customer fills in all their details, over here on the right, we have this order bump, okay? So this is an energy drink. I'm selling it at 50% off. So if the uh, visitor comes here and checks this uh, button, you can see here it's been added and it's £4.50. Now on the bottom here as well, we can also add the quantity. So let's say uh, uh, the uh, customer wants to buy more than one. So they can just add, you know, as much as they want here and the cart is automatically updated. Now, if you can also add some coupon codes, and I haven't added this here in this example, but these are all opportunities that you can highly customize your checkout page. Now on the bottom here, you can proceed to PayPal, and we can also add some testimonials here on the bottom, and I also show you how to add these onto your page. So the most important thing here is it's very easy to customize, and it's very easy to add any items onto your pages. Now, once everything is gone through and uh, the customer has clicked on proceed to PayPal and the payment has gone through, they also get a thank you page. So again, I also show you how to create it, how to add the video at the end of that thank you page. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mac. I create web design and marketing videos. So go ahead, hit subscribe and also hit the bell notification because I create uh, these tutorials regularly. And also, if you decide to buy any of the products that I recommend in this video, I will give you courses that will teach you how to get up and running with these products that I'll be dem demoing in this tutorial. All right, let's get started. Let me show you how to create your sales Funnel. All right, so before we get started, I need to go through the things that you need in order for our funnels to work. So first of all, you're going to need to have four things in place. Firstly, you're going to need to have WordPress. Secondly, you're going to need a page builder. This makes the uh, building of the funnel much, much easier. And thirdly, we're going to need cut flows. Now, this is the plugin that controls all these funnels. And fourthly, we're going to also need a plugin called WooCommerce. Now, this is going to handle all our products and also the payment systems. So first of all, what you want to do is to come over here to Cut Flows and click on Flows. So this is where we get to add our funnel. So I'm going to click on Add New. Now, we have templates here already uh, prepared for us. Now, when you go into this, you don't need to worry about um, the layout or the design not looking good because you can always go in and make major changes to this. And by the way, if you prefer to use Elementor or any of uh, those other page builders like Beaver Builder, they also have the same sort of templates. All right, so I'm going to go with uh, this template right here. So I'm going to click on import. So what's going to happen now is uh, it's going to import my landing page, the thank you page, and also the cart page. Right, so it looks like everything is all imported. That looks great. So what you want to do here is to add your name. So I'm just going to call this main product. But of course, you want to add a name of the product that works with uh, whatever product it is that you're trying to promote. All right, so we have the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page. So this is very basic, but you can also add other steps like upsells, downsells, and so on. So I'm just gonna keep this simple. So let's go ahead now and uh, take a look at this design. Before I do that, I need to click on update. Right, so now it's time to design the landing page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on edit. All right, so I'm gonna click here on build on front end. And this is where our template is going to load up. And I am going to go in now and replace everything in here. So first of all, I can go in and start deleting things that I don't need. So I'm going to start off by deleting this logo here. I don't need that. So I've just deleted it. And then over here on the bottom, I'm going to delete that. So as you can see, I'm just, I'm just clicking on the trash can. 
And this allows me to delete any elements that I don't need on my page. So as you can see here, I'm just going in and deleting. And this is the beauty of using this DV page builder. Okay, so I've just simplified this. That's looking great. Now over here as well, uh, I can actually go in and delete all this stuff if I don't need it. And uh, on the FAQs, if you want to go in and make some adjustments, you can actually go in, make some adjustments, add your content that you need on this page. So this is just a template to get you up and running. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is just show you quickly how you can edit here. So I'm gonna go into this gear icon and this is going to take me into my toggle settings. So I'm gonna open a new tab here and go to Lorem 2. Now this is a website that I use when I need to copy dummy text. So I'm just gonna copy that and just show you how I can just uh, go in quickly and change things. Right, so the first one I'm um, editing here is, is called, can I edit the files? So I'm just gonna go in here, replace this. So I'm just assuming that this is my own content, which I am um, adjusting on this template, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna save. Now when I go in, you notice that this is now the content that I've just added. So that's how easy it is to go in and make some customizations. Now I'm also going to show you how to change the colors as well, but before we do that, let's go in here and uh, start designing our hero area of our page. All right, so I'm gonna start by adding a background image. So I'm gonna come over here to my section settings, click on the gear icon background and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add an image okay so i'm going to click here on this area here and uh, add our own image so the image i'm going to go with is this one right here so uh, it's always a good idea to uh, add an image that relates to the product that you're trying to promote or the product that you're trying to sell so in my case it's a protein drink so the gym sort of like scenario would work perfectly for this so i'm going to go in click on upload an image so now you can see it's added. Now we have this uh, color right here. That's because we have a background that, that has been added here, okay? So we can go in and change this. We can make it black if you want to. And then we can add some transparency if it's a bit too dark. Now this will help our text to be uh, much easier to read by just uh, lowering that transparency. So as you can see here, when people come to our website, it's very, very easy to read, okay? So you can always adjust this until you're happy with the intensity of this uh, transparency. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now, uh, this template comes with this image here. Now, I don't like that image because this is where we need to add our own product. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click here on this image, and then we're gonna add our protein drink or our protein powder, click upload an image. Now, instantly that has been updated. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to add all these elements here. Now you may be thinking, oh, well, does this work on mobile devices? And uh, because most people now take a look at websites on their mobile devices. And you know what, this is mobile friendly and you can actually go in and make specific tweaks as well. So let me show you what it looks like. So if I click here on these three little dots on the bottom, this is called expand settings. I can actually click here on this mobile uh, device and you can see our product is there and um, our heading is there, our um, description is also there and our button is there as well. And like I said, you can always go in and make further adjustments. All right, so this is looking great. You can now go into this button and uh, let's go in and change some settings. So I'm gonna go in here. So instead of saying, let's get started, I'm gonna say by now. Save that. Now we don't need to worry about adding a link to this button because everything is all interlinked. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. Now, if you, uh, if you want to change this title here, all you have to do is to highlight it and uh, just change it by just typing your own title. Now, this is a bit too much. I'm just gonna highlight some of this and uh, delete it like that. So you can see very, very easy to go in and make changes to. Now, this is where you wanna add your description. But again, it's the same thing. You can either uh, do inline editing, or you can actually go in and make for the adjustments. So let's say you want to make this text uh, a bit bigger or um, increase the size. All you have to do is to click this gear icon, click on design, heading text, and then we're going to come over here to size. And then this is where you can just increase the size like that. So you can really go crazy, but of course you just want to keep it uh, 
nice and tidy. So I'm going to leave it at 52. And this is where I was mentioning that if you want to go in and make uh, specific adjustments on uh, the mobile devices or uh, the screen sizes, this is where you click on this little icon here, click on tablet, and uh, you can really adjust the size of this. So you can see here, I can make it even slightly bigger, 65. And then on the phone, I can uh, reduce the size just to make it look much better. So I'm going to go with... Um, 39 or maybe even 40. So as you can see here, this uh, page builder is very, very easy to use and it's uh, very intuitive. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Now that we have this uh, main area, I'm going to save this. And the most important part here is the testimonial. So it comes here with these images. So I just want to go in and show you as well how to change these images. So I'm going to click here on uh, module settings and then I'm going to click on this image, change it to our own image. So the image I'm going to go with is this one here. Upload an image. And then instantly we have our own image. Let's save that. And then we can come over here, click on uh, this gear icon. And we can change this as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite easy to go in and make those changes. Now, if you want to add more, you can always go in and add more testimonials if you want to. All right, so I'm pretty much happy with this page. So uh, I'm going to go. In fact, before I do that, uh, I also want to show you because sometimes when you have these landing pages, uh, you may want to have a video instead of just an image showing the product. So if you want to add a video, again, that's quite straightforward. I'm just going to delete this so I can show you how to add the video. So I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to click this plus button, search for my video module. I'm going to select it. Now, this video is just a video placeholder, but we can add our own video. So let's say you've created your sales video. It's on Vimeo or it's on YouTube. All you have to do is to click this plus button to add video, insert from URL. And then this is where you paste your URL to your video. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. But here's a cool thing. If you come over here to overlay, you can actually replace this default image here that comes in from WordPress, I mean from uh, YouTube, and replace it with your own. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And uh, we can add maybe this image here of this woman in the gym. Click upload an image. So now we can see we have our video in there. But for now, I'm just going to keep things very simple. I'm going to just uh, save this, and then we're going to move on to the next page. So I'm going to save this and exit the Visual Builder. So the next stage now is to add our products in WooCommerce, and then we are going to also create the, sell, the, the uh, checkout page. So I'm going to come over here to Products and then click on Add New. So my first product here is going to be whey protein. And then over here, there's a regular price. So I'm just going to call this, nine. I'm just going to name, maybe sell it at 99. So that's fine. So we don't need to worry about the inventory, the shipping and attributes and all, and all of that. So this is fine. We have our product. And over here, we can add our description. But of course, we don't need to add that because we can always do that in the uh, funnel program. All right. So once I've, uh, now that I've added my product, I'm going to click here on Publish. Now, let's add another prog uh, product that we're going to use as an upsell. So I'm going to click here on Add New. So let's say this product is an energy drink. Energy drink. Right, now this one here, let's say it costs $9. I'm going to click on Publish. So now we've just added two products, the main protein and the energy drink. So you'll see in a moment why it's important to have this and why, it can, uh, why this is very beneficial to your sales process. All right, so what I'm going to do now since I have my products is to come back over here to Cut Flows, click on Flows. So here's our main product. I'm going to click on Edit. So our landing page is done. I can actually view this in a new tab. So here's our products, I mean our landing page. Now let's go in and work on our checkout page. So again, I'm going to click on edit. So let's start by adding our first product. And our first product is the whey protein. And here we go. I'm going to add it. We can also add product variations and quantity options. So in fact, let's, en let's enable that. Enable quantity. Click on update. Okay, now the next part here is the order bump. I think this is very, very important. So I'm going to click here on order bump, enable order bump, and then I'll sort of keep the, uh, the style as it is. Now remember, we added our product at uh, $9. So that was the energy drink. So, so let's type in here energy drink, 50% off. And then here we can add our description of the energy drink. 
Now the discount type here, we can say uh, discount percentage, the value 50%. Now over here, we need to select the product. And uh, this is where we say this was the energy drink, right? We're going to select the energy drink. So now we have all the elements that we need for the order bump. Now we can go in here and also customize the border colors and all that fun stuff. But you know what? We're just going to clip this um, nice and simple. Okay, so now we have our main product and we also have our energy drink. And you can see here the original price is $9. Now the discount price is for 50 Now I'm going to click here on update. It's time now to take a look at our page and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to click here and I want to open this in a new tab. And now you can see we have whey protein, subtotal and all that. So what we're going to do now, you can see here we have all these fields. So since we're selling a physical product, it's ideal that we also have a section where the visitor adds their shipping details. But if you're selling a digital product and you don't need the person's address, you can um, disable all these fields. And I'll, let me show you how to do that. So back over here, let's go to uh, check out design. So this is where I mentioned you can go in and change all your colors, the fonts and so on. And uh, checkout field is what we are looking for. So over here, we're going to say ship to a different address and then enable the editor. So this is where now we get to choose what items to show and what not to show. So for example, maybe we might not need, let's say the apartment, the apartment suite. So I can just click on that eye and that disables it. So it's as easy as that. So let's say uh, you don't want to include the company name. Again, you can just disable that and then that's gone. Now over here, the shipping fields as well, you can go in, disable the company, the company name. So there are so many ways that you can customize this page and make it uh, the way you want it to. All right, so over here as well, we can click on update and these changes that I've, uh, that I've done are going to be applied to our page. Now, let's go to the front end and let's build our checkout page. So I'm gonna come over here, build on front end. Over here, we're also going to change this image in the background. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, click on background. And for our image, I'm just gonna find a different image here. And this time we are going to add, let's go with this one here, upload an image. So now our image is right there in the background. And again, we have a color cast to this. So we're gonna go in and change the color and add some transparency. So just to show that image a little bit, okay, on the checkout. Great. So now that we have this in place, I'm gonna save. Now over here, you can choose to either add a product or just get rid of it altogether. So um, in my case, I'm gonna add the product. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon and add the product. So it's ideal that as people are checking out, you know, they can actually see what product it is that they've just bought. Right, so I'm gonna save this. Over here, you can add the description of your product and so on. I'm just gonna delete this that comes in by default. And then over here, we have this why buy from us. Again, you can add some information there if you wanted to. Money back guarantee, I think that's, that's also good. Now, I would like to add some, some more padding to this because I feel like my design is uh, suffocated there. So here, I'm just gonna add 107, 150. So uh, don't panic when you see checkout ID not found. This is where those checkout fields are going to come in. So right now we're just designing, you know, uh, around this checkout page. Now, what makes this checkout page or what makes this system very, very powerful is you can actually go in and um, add even more sections. You can add more content. So let's say, for example, here, you want to add uh, testimonials of, of people that have bought the product. So what you can do is uh, click here on this plus button, uh, add uh, regular section. And let's say we want to add, let's say uh, four testimonials. So I'm gonna search for my testimonial um, module here. So as you can see, it's just added in this very quickly for me and that's great. Now I can go in and customize this text. So I've got Alorum 2 open here. Uh, let me just copy a paragraph of text like that. I'm gonna replace this text, the name. Let's add the job. In fact, we don't need the job title. Let's just add the name. So I'm gonna add my name there. Now let's add an image. So all you have to do is to come over here to image, click on this area here, and uh, let's look for an image to add. I'm gonna go with, uh, okay, let's go with this one here. 
upload an image. Next, I am going to come over here to elements, show quote icon. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it on there. And you can go and further in, customize how this actually looks. So let's say you want to change the text there. You can come over here to text, make sure it's centered. And if you want to change the actual uh, font, you can come over here to body text, just click here on default, change it to poppins. We can change the size. We can make it slightly bigger. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at 14. So those could be our testimonials. And um, again, we can just duplicate this a few times and then just drag this into position. Now, once I've dragged these into position, I can then go in and change. Right, so that's our testimonial. And if we also want to add a title to this, in fact, that's what's going to make it make sense. I'm going to click this plus button, add a single column. Now, here we can add a text module. And this is where we're going to add our title. So for our title, we can just call this happy customers like that, highlight it and set it to heading one. Now let's go into design, heading text. We're gonna change our font here to Poppins. We're gonna center it. Now, if we need to make it slightly bigger, we can just come in here and just drag the slider here up to about 38, save that. Now this needs to be on the top. So we're gonna drag this and then just let go. So now we have happy customers and these are testimonials. So I'm pretty happy with this page. I am going to save this and then exit the visual builder. So that's our second page designed and complete. So I'm gonna exit and then let's take a look at it. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. And now we have our fields. So when the customer comes, they can pay, I mean, they can add all their information here, email address, and then it also shows the products and how many they can buy. So let's say they want to buy more than one, so they can just add there. And as you can see, the cart has updated. And now check this out. We have this energy drink at 50% off. Now this is where we can go in and uh, add our product that we're promoting as the upsell. So if I click here, you'll notice that the energy drink has been added at £4.50. Also this, the currency here is in pounds because obviously I'm in the UK, but if you're in the United States or any other country, you can actually go into WooCommerce and change currency. So that's quite straightforward. Now, once you've done that, you can now proceed to PayPal and this now has been added to your customer list. Now, the beauty of this is the information of the customers as well is in a database. So it's actually quite good because if you do need to sell other products or promote uh, other products, you have a customer base that you can promote to. All right, so we've uh, designed these two pages. Now let's go ahead and design the thank you page. Now this page is also very important. So we're going to come back over here and uh, open this in a new tab. I'm gonna click on edit. So this thank you page is the page that uh, the customer sees after they've purchased the product. So I'm gonna click here on build on a front end. Now this is where you can just add a custom message. So thank you for buying our product. Uh, and then over here you can add a description. And over here as well, you can you know ask them to join the uh, social media channels if you do have any, or you can just keep it simple, add a video just to personally thank them for buying your products. So this is the thank you page. It's quite straightforward. In fact, as I mentioned, you can go in and add more items if you wanted to. So let's say you want to add a video to go to go along with this. You can just click here on this plus button, click single column, and I'm going to add a video here click on video. Now, some marketers actually go in and use this page to promote even other stuff. So you can be creative with that if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to design sizing. So my video here is way too big. I'm just going to reduce the size of that to about, let's say, 62%. I'm going to center it and come over here to content overlay. And then I'm just going to add an image overlay over here. Let me add an image of uh, this guy working out in the gym save that. So now we have our thank you page. It has a video. And as I mentioned, you can add as many things as you want in here. Okay, so I'm going to save this page. Now here's one of the most important things that you need to be aware of. Now on the bottom here, we can see test mode is active, we actually need to go in and make sure we disable test mode. So this will allow us to now make this live. So I'm going to come back over here, just refresh this page. Right, so that test mode, you can see it here, enable test mode. If we disable that, that means that this um, flow is going to work now. So I'm gonna click on update. 
Now it's time to test it and see if it's working. So I'm gonna click here on view. Okay, so this is our main landing page. In fact, let me get rid of all these other pages. So this is our main landing page. So if we click here on buy now, it's gonna take us to our checkout page. So if we go in, we can order as many as we want here. Our upsell is working. We can proceed to PayPal. And once that payment has been made, this is now going to take us to our thank you page. So this is how you easily create a sales funnel in WordPress. Now this system here will save you quite a lot of money because you buy it once uh, and you only pay it yearly. And I think it's about $299. Now compare this to click funnels, which can um, uh, cost you into the thousands per year because it's about $99 per month. So in my opinion, this actually does the same job as uh, click funnels and you have better control on this system. Now, I haven't touched a lot of uh, things that uh, this plugin comes with in terms of um, tracking, in terms of uh, even further designs, the upsells, the downsells and so forth. So I just wanted to create a basic funnel just to show you how easy it is to create it. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. And by the way, if, if you buy Cartflows or Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my courses absolutely free. Now, these courses will help you get up and running with these two softwares. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.